Now, in the midst of all of this happening, they don't have any money for people in the United States. But Kamala Harris announces 385 million, mind you, which is more than the 4 million that's already gone out in aid for Lebanon because of a humanitarian crisis. Now, let's look at this current situation right here. People in America have just suffered from a hurricane landfall. There's another hurricane on the way that's supposed to touch down tonight. We're out of money for those people. Kamala Harris, with a smile on her face, announces $385 million in aid for Lebanon for a humanitarian crisis. Somebody make it make sense. Oh, well, you know, FEMA doesn't have the money. Okay, so what? Find the money somewhere else. Literally, nobody's going to be okay with this. Shout out to the title. Kamala Harris making this announcement. If you ask me, if most people have a functioning brain in their head, this should be campaign suicide for her. If you guys would agree, give me a thumbs up. If you guys would disagree, give me a thumbs down. This should be campaign suicide. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, Law. I appreciate it, bro. This should be campaign suicide. So now here it says Vice President Kamala Harris announced in a statement on Friday that the United States will provide nearly 157 million in additional humanitarian aid to Lebanon. OK. The funding will address growing needs of civilians affected by the country's ongoing humanitarian crisis. What about the ongoing humanitarian crisis that's going on right here? Shout out to Cindy. What's good with it, Cindy? And shout out to Last Not Late. How do you how do you classify this type of decision? How do you support? How do you justify this type of decision? Is this logical? Is this rational? Yeah, facts. Shout out to my man, you law. You law said, I'm here lurking, bro, since 2019. Facts. Shout out to my man, you law. Good to see you, bro. How do you justify this? So, my question is who would feel comfortable with this type of logic? being utilized as the logic leading the country we're already living under the this kind of logic leading the country how's it working out how's it working out you know what i mean this comes just days after the u.s department of homeland security said it does not have enough money to get through the hurricane season after the vice president announced $750 per person in aid for victims of Hurricane Helene. The new assistance package will be allocated toward essential needs such as food, shelter, water, protection, and sanitation, according to Harris, which is probably literally every single one of those things, something that those people in North Carolina or other areas that have been affected by, you know, Hurricane Helene could use. That you know, they could use all of that, right? But instead of providing that for the people here, they're going to provide it for people elsewhere. I don't even know if ne Lebanon is like, I mean, are they even political allies of ours? Or, I mean, is, is there any type of attachment or any type of contract or any type of agreement that requires us to have to provide them any aid? I, I, I don't understand that. This aid is intended to support those displaced by the recent conflict and other vulnerable populations across Lebanon. All right. So here goes the official tweet from Kamala Harris. Right. So we, we're going to take a look at this official tweet. All right. <laughs> we're going <laughs> to. We're going to take a look at the official tweet. Give me one second. I'm going to pull it up. And shout out to everybody that's watching. I appreciate you guys. If you all haven't smashed the like button yet, please do me a favor. Take a moment. Smash that like button. Also, if you guys have not hit the bell, please take a moment. 
hit that bell and also please share the stream to your social media all right so here goes the tweet all right the people of lebanon are facing an increasingly dire humanitarian situation okay i am concerned about the security and well-being of civilians suffering in lebanon and will continue working to help meet the needs of all civilians there to that end the united states will provide nearly 157 million dollars in additional assistance to the people of lebanon for essential needs such as food shelter water protection and sanitation to help those who have been displaced by the recent conflict this additional support brings total u.s assistance to lebanon over the last year to over 385 million dollars how nice i don't know if i really would have i don't know if i really you know for, first and foremost I, I just wouldn't have done that i wouldn't have done that the, the, the you know what i'm saying americans would have got the money first first and foremost right second of all if i was gonna do something like that after the secretary just made the announcement that we don't have any money i'm for sure not about to be going around you know all loud on twitter to all of my twitter you know supporters saying hey y'all yeah i know y'all dealing with a hurricane over there but look what we just did for lebanon are you crazy you know people gotta be heated about that <laughs> you know people gotta be heated about that kamala harris she with the fuck shit he going along with the fuck shit don't touch me i'm about to change on your ass i'll beat your ass with my elbows werewolf style <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, she definitely with the fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Reaper. The aid is intended to support those displaced by the recent conflict and other vulnerable populations across Lebanon. This latest funding brings the total US aid to Lebanon over the past year to more than $385 million. How many of y'all knew that the United States had spent $385 million on Lebanon? over the past year how many y'all knew that i didn't and i and believe it or not on this channel we keep track we keep track of that spending you know what i'm saying and i didn't know that so now it says reflecting continued u.s engagement in addressing the humanitarian challenges in the region the vice president expressed quote unquote concern <laughs> over the security and well-being of civilians amid the deteriorating situation what about the deteriorating united states as a result of these natural disasters you know what i'm saying lebanon has been grappling with political instability economic collapse and a strained infrastructure exacerbating the humanitarian needs in the country international organizations have called for increased aid to address this crisis we will continue working to help meet the needs of all civilians there harris said in her statement now how do y'all think that the how do y'all think that people who are dealing with this hurricane feel about that <laughs> 